I look at you and I don't see him. Is that is that Paul? <laughs> is that Paul? <laughs> TJ, before we start this review, I have to tell you something. That donut you ate earlier was laced with a small amount of plastic explosive. In 10 minutes, it will literally explode inside of your gut if you don't confess. The choice is yours. God. You're confess. fucked, TJ. Yeah, I'm doomed. You're fucked. I'm doomed. Did you heard him, dude? <clears throat> you heard Jigsaw. Jigsaw is a fucking... He's a maniacal son of a bitch. You heard what he said, dude. So, anyway, uh, Jigsaw. We saw it. Um, we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was better than anything in the movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I know there's I, a lot I, of I almost, I almost gave it a... <laughs> But instead, I decided to give it a meh. Yeah, you know? uh, it's zero. It's it's very very like I don't know, man. And if we're honest, if you if you're a nitpicky person, this movie just falls apart at any attempted oh, examination. Shit. The yeah, plot if you got an IQ crumbles. above room temperature, you're gonna be displeased. Like if you're a stupid fuck, and I know there are some stupid fucks watching us. Of course. Like if you're the kind of Welcome. person who goes and writes like the same racial epithet over and over again in the chat, if you're that person. This movie might be just the right level of intelligence for you. Maybe. But for all you people who have even like two fucking brain cells kind of bouncing around in there, you're going to see some fucking huge ass yes. plot holes in this movie. You said in the car on the way home that it was like uh, what stupid people think smart people movies are like. Yeah. And that's a really apt way of describing what the Saw franchise has become. It's the twists are just. On the face of them dumb to the point where, like, like I said, any scrutiny whatsoever other than, oh, wow, we're him. Like, if you go any deeper than that, you're fucked because it makes no sense. It's like, uh, what was that movie? It was called High Tension, I think. Yes. Where the twist is the girl who was running from the killer is the killer. Even yes. though there was, like, scenes where they were driving in two separate cars yes. and shit. So it's like, how does that work exactly? This is the same kind of shit with this movie. Like, every time they try to throw a twist at you, you're like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Because, like, uh, I'll give you an example. Because they think Jigsaw is back, they're like, let's dig up his grave and see if he's in there. <laughs> and, and let the media attend it. Hey, Paul, do you want to watch a season of Lucha Underground? Yeah, you know what? We're going to... Yeah, yep. <laughs> I guess so. You know, you just keep giving us money, and you know, we'll we'll let you know soon. I'll loot you know, loot you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, so anyway, they, so they, yeah. they decide they're gonna dig up Jigsaw, and uh, they're not only that, but they invite the entire press to be there to film. Which what? Because they're like, because the lead detective guy is like, that'll end all this bullshit talk about Jigsaw being back. We'll just let the media film his fucking maggot-eating corpse <laughs> in the ground. You know what okay, I mean? Whatever. So, uh, like five minutes earlier in the movie, there was a dude in the hospital. Doesn't matter why he was there. They take... Someone steals him from the hospital. He is in the grave. So basically, within like a couple hours, someone <laughs> stole this guy from the hospital, dug up Jigsaw's grave... <laughs> Put this guy in it. Yeah. Buried him again. And then when the city got there, they weren't like, looks like this grave was <laughs> no. just dug up. No, because he's a professional landscaper. He rolled out fresh sod. Yeah, and made sure there was side, no trace. It, meticulously trimmed it to make sure it was the same length as all the grass around him. Yeah. Bought some spray paint to, you know, to make sure it was the right color green as all the grass around it. Bullshit, <laughs> right? But you're not supposed to question things in Saw anymore. You're just supposed to watch people die Go, <gasps> in creative ways Ooh. and accept the most basic bitch-ass twists that you've ever been fed in a fucking film. The one that TJ gave you is just one of many retarded twists. In Saw, and none of them matter because the only reason you're there is to watch somebody with a chain around their neck get dragged into saw blades because you that's why you're there. So anything surrounding that is total bullshit. The kills are kind of cool. The kills are kind of cool, but honestly, 
it's better shit than the earlier Saw movies. There was more creative trap. I mean, like, the traps are just okay, and some of them flat out, much like the plot, don't make any goddamn sense. Sure. But they don't really have to. They never really have. I mean, <laughs> since the first movie. Yeah. That that trap made sense. But since then, the rest of these mechanical, mechanical, cyber mechanical fucking contraptions that fucking Jigsaw controls remotely from some hut up in the fucking Tibetan wilderness or whatever the fuck... Like, that don't happen. That's just not a, not a thing. So you've already accepted that going in. It's still fun to see people dragged through fucking barbed wire and shit. That's why you're yeah, there. It's, I mean, you know, and the kills are fun. If you're a big fan of gore and you want to, and the only thing you expect out of this movie is you just want to see some creative kills, uh, you might honestly just want to wait for a compilation of that to show up on YouTube in a few months. But if you want to see it on the big screen... That's about the best case you could make for going to see this movie. You just want to see people ripped apart and suffering and put in crazy situations where you could be like, what would I do if I was in that... Si you yeah, know, all of it wrapped together by flimsy twists that all make no sense. Uh, the, the, the amount of prescience and omniscience that Jigsaw would have to have for any of this to work yeah, it's is just crazy. insane. Like, he has to know... Where everyone is going to be, what decisions are going to be made, who's going to die and in what order, yeah. where people are going to be specifically standing, what things they're specifically going to try to escape, and who's going to do it. The dude, like, I'll give an example of that. At one point, one of the people caught in Jigsaw's maze finds a tape recorder, and it has his name on it, and he's looking at it, and he takes two steps away from where he found it and stops. And then he hits play, and that triggers a trap that grabs him by the ankle in a radius of about that big, <laughs> right where he's standing, and, you know, he goes, whatever. And yeah. then the, the maze goes on. But you get the drift? Like, yeah, like, he none of had to know that he was going to be standing exactly there when he pressed play. The second room that all of these people go into is like a barn. Yeah. A barn that is old and weathered to the point where you can, like, see the outside through cracks in the wall. Yeah. Not one person is they like, escape. hey, let's try to break through that flimsy-ass wall. Now, it makes sense that, the, you know, because for a lot of it, they're chained. But right at the end of it, they're all unchained. And they, instead of going and kicking down one of those fucking flimsy boards and screaming out into the fucking wilderness, they decide to go deeper into fucking the horrors of the maze. They go into this giant fucking... Let's go into this vault. Sarcophagus vault thing. And then immediately, once they're in there, one of the guys, is there's, there's a big door labeled, Not No Exit. Yeah. And he's like, That's our escape right there. That's not gonna be booby-trapped. Why didn't you try to get out of the flimsy-ass boards in the last room, you moron? You could see through the wall. It was a flimsy barn that you could have just yeah. smashed through. No, let's go into the vault of death. You know what I mean? Let's go into the vault and of And then, of blades. course, he tries to escape through that door, and he's just like... Pfft. Yeah, yeah. You're he's in the like, booby trap now, moron. Yeah, you fucked up. You didn't just want to leave the barn. Whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not one only, of those movies. Like, if you fucking scrutinize it at all, it just oh, it just completely. It's like it's like white bread that's been soaking in water all night, and you try and pick it up and use it as toast. It's like, <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope, whoopsie. Like, not only not only does Jigsaw have to be omniscient to place the traps. He has to be omniscient just to get the people in there for whatever reason. Please don't do Lucha. Do movies. Do shitty Jack Black Nacho Libre Lucha if you want Lucha. Damn. Okay, so we have now oh, competing camps. Yes, we've got a Lucha camp and an anti-Lucha camp. I so think like, gonna, don't do that Lucha shit. I think we're going to have to let the pile of money sort yeah. this one out. <laughs> let uh, us know with money. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, fucking... Uh, so... The, all, the backstory as to how he chooses all these fucking people makes no sense. Um, because he would have to be fucking everywhere and know every private detail about everybody's life. It just makes no sense. Like, uh, one bitch is in there because she robbed a chick. And the, when the chick chased her, her purse had the fucking inhaler in it. And that chick died. Because she didn't have her inhaler because the other but chick But she went on and lived a normal life and never told anybody it was her and the case was never solved. How the fuck would Jigsaw know that? He just happened to be walking by, and he knew every detail of it before she even talked about it. He was like, you will be denied the medicine 
that you need to live just like you denied another. It's like, are you... Go so, yeah, you were telling me that some people posit that, like, Jigsaw is basically God in these Yeah, movies. like, he's meant to be a metaphor for God. That's why it's all about suffering and salvation and all that shit. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you made a joke to me outside where, where you were just like, when you were... Ten, your little sister stepped on a Lego that you carelessly left out and fell <laughs> down the stairs. Yeah, yeah it's that you level know, of it's shit. Like, how do you know this jigsaw? Not even, like, the police weren't on to her. No one around her in her life was on to jigsaw her. Jigsaw knew, But though. Jigsaw knew. <laughs> 20 years jigsaw ago or whatever. Jigsaw knew. Fuck it. So, uh, this is gonna get kind of into spoilery territory here. In fact, it's going to get completely into spoilery territory. Yeah, so if so. you care if about this, having if this at absurd this point, film spoiled, yeah, leave. It's time to go. Because we're going to talk about specifics now. Uh, the... <laughs> okay, so a lot of you are probably wondering, uh, the marketing behind this movie is like, is Jigsaw still alive? Has he somehow come back from the dead? And the answer is yes! And No! Think about that shit. <laughs> let that bake your melon for a while, because I'm not even going to explain it. I'm going to let that cook for a minute. I want to. I, I just want to let it simmer. Yes and no. no. How can this be? <laughs> How could it possibly? What a little be? puzzle. Um. So Jig. <laughs> 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 no. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, all right. So, so, <laughs> so Jigsaw is dead. But the, most of the time we spend in the movie, we're spent watching something that happened ten years ago when Jigsaw were alive. Oh, they make you think that you're watching the present, but you actually watching the fucking past. But, and you might think, oh, that's kind of a cool twist. But. There's also shit going on in the present. How the fuck? People keep finding bodies from this shit that you're watching. How do they explain that? The coroner. <laughs> okay. I don't even... The coroner. Okay, <laughs> so let, me, let me just... Let me make sure everyone's on the same page. It's really complicated. The movie itself takes ten minutes at the end to explain it. Yes. So you're watching these five people be tortured, right? And you think you're watching present day because their bodies keep turning up at the coroner, at the morgue. Okay? So you're like, well, you know, you think, oh, it's definitely the present because they're finding the bodies as the game progresses. But it turns out that the game we were watching was from 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. But the, when Jigsaw the bodies alive. that are appearing now are from a recreation of the game performed by the head coroner, who's a secret acolyte of Jigsaw. Okay? He's a secret acolyte of Jigsaw. He recreated the game for no reason other than to, I guess, just mislead the audience that he didn't know <laughs> yeah. that existed. And he did that. And uh, that was all to lure <laughs> the the lead detective on the case, who's a corrupt cop that the coroner has a problem with, to the barn so that he can face a jigsaw trap. Because Jigsaw, ten years ago, that guy was in the game, but Jigsaw let him go because uh, the coroner guy was in that game <laughs> that took place <laughs> ten years. No, no, listen. The coroner was in the game that ten took years place ago. ten years ago, but Jigsaw decided not to kill him because he felt bad because the reason the coroner was there is because he mislabeled John whatever, <laughs> the guy who is Jigsaw's medical file, and it led to his cancer not being treated in a timely enough manner, but then Jigsaw realized I shouldn't punish this guy simply for a mistake, an honest mistake. So uh, he, he freed the guy from the game 10 years ago and made him his little apprentice that we never heard about, even though the previous movies have revealed like seven Jigsaw apprentices. They never revealed this one, who was intimately connected with Jigsaw from his earliest days. And he later on, 10 years later, recreated the game to lure the detective to the trap. So you see, it all makes perfect fucking sense. 
I don't know, man. Uh, the movie didn't explain it any better than I just did. I did my and it fucking took about damnedest. The, it took about the same amount of time, too. <laughs> like, literally, the coroner gives a speech, like the one TJ gave, but dripping with fucking dread that doesn't belong there because it comes out of nowhere. And it just explains the entire fucking twist to you, the audience, and to the fucking detective who's about to die. Retarded. Yeah. Oh, what's we got? Oh, that's a, a subscription. Yeah, dude. Hey, thanks for subscribing. I saw Zonster in the chat say that this sounds close to the worst horror movie ever made. I would say no, it's no, not. No, I mean, um, as I don't want to get that impression. It's definitely one of the most <laughs> inconsistent films you've ever seen. But uh, does it have some entertainment value? Yeah. The performances are dog shit, but you've definitely seen way worse in the horror genre. If you're going to Saw for any other reason other than to see people killed in interesting ways with weird machines, then you're not going to enjoy yourself on any level. I enjoyed myself on that level at least. Yeah, I would The kills see, were okay, okay, you know what I mean? Uh, the last kill was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, there was a number of interesting little kill scenes there, and there was some interesting little conundrums of like, oh, I'm, what am I going to do in this situation? And people like to put themselves in the situation of the characters they see in these movies, I think, and sort of wonder about, oh, what would I do if I were put in that sort of position? Uh, so there's, there's that, and that's always been kind of one of the strengths of the Saw series, and that's very much intact, but kind of very much old hat at this point. Um... It's just, I mean, it's bad. I mean, it's not a good film. It's not worth seeing in theaters. Uh, maybe if you're fucking watching shitty horror movies late one night and you want to catch one, I mean, it's you could do worse. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that are fans of this franchise that just like it for that reason. They just and I'm sure to, that and, you know whatever you you, you, you guys probably will find probably this be to be a serviceable Saw movie. If you're a yeah. fan of the Saw movies up until now, you're either too dumb to fucking know that the plot makes no sense, which God, who cares? Whatever, you're part of the audience, or you long ago gave up trying to explain away its silliness, and you just want to see the fucking kills. And if you if that if you go in with that mindset, you'll probably like it. Yeah, and it's uh, that's about what it has to offer, honestly. Uh, I don't think there's too much more to say about this one. Um, just riddled with inconsistency, mediocre fucking performances from mediocre actors, a failure. I mean, like, look, I guess I should talk about one thing. I'm just so disappointed in a movie that's this stupid and inconsistent. Couldn't you have just brought back fucking Jigsaw? Like, why you gotta fake us out with this, oh, snap, it was actually ten years ago, so he's not alive. Fuck that shit. Just bring him back. Just bring him the fuck back. That's what people want. That's what people came to this movie to see. The resurrection of fucking Jigsaw. But they left it open-ended because his corpse, where did his corpse go? Yeah, and I mean, they I guess he up could corpse. still be alive, but so they the, movie def the movie doesn't bring him back. It doesn't say, here he is. They're probably just sitting on that for what they know is going to be their last try. And they're like, you know what? In the last film, we'll reveal that Jigsaw were alive all along. And we'll explain it through a series of convoluted flashbacks and shit. That's probably what they're doing. You don't get it in this one. Uh, yeah, so if you were if you were a fan of the series waiting to see the triumphant return of your of Jigsaw, it's just another flashback. It's just another acolyte of Jigsaw who's killing people in the present. He's still very much dead. At least he hasn't been reestablished as alive by the plot line of the series as of yet. So that was disappointing. I kind of was hoping that they were just going to bring him back. They didn't do that. They went with another direction. They kind of went the same direction they went in the previous Saw films. That's the weird thing is like, this was kind of advertised, I think, as like, we're going to, he's, he's back to reclaim Halloween. The Saw franchise is getting back on track. But really, if you're a, if you were a fan of the earlier Saw films and you just thought they went too fucking off the rails in the stupid, stupid land, this is just a continuation of that. It fits right in with some of the later films where it's overly convoluted and the plot makes no sense and you're basically just watching Jigsaw in flashbacks and some new, boring, uninteresting fucking killer in present day. This movie continues that tradition. So, yeah, it's, it's dog shit. It's just no good. Yeah, I'd recommend you wait to see it at home. Yeah, watch it at, watch it at home when you can watch it. It's not it really a free. movie that's shot for anything, you know, like that you can't get on your TV. Oh, and home. I could also talk about how the scenes 
the 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 murder scenes were were fine. The people stuck in the game that was okay. The uh, the scenes where you went to like the coroner's office and stuff like that felt so much like you were just watching a bad crime show on like TBS or something. Yeah, C- just, CSI uh, Jigsaw. Yeah, it just didn't. Eh, it just felt very cheap, very television. Uh, didn't have a very cinematic feel at all. Uh, characters that that existed in the movie were bland, uninteresting. There was no one to relate to on any level. It was just they were just a bunch of killables. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't know. You have anything else to say about it? That about sums it up. All right. Thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> um, we will do. We do this every fucking Friday. Go see a new movie at the theater. Uh, let us know how you feel about this movie. If you saw this movie and you disagree with us or agree with us, let us know down below. And if you have uh, any movies you'd like to see reviewed on Cinema for Cynics or any pitches for Pitch Wars or anything like that, we got all kinds of different content coming up on this channel all the time. So we'll see you motherfuckers later. Peace. Peace. Dum-dum-dum. Dum-dum-dum. Dum-dum-dum-dum-dum-dum.